Let's do a sound check this morning. Let's do a sound check this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's see if my hands raise this morning. With my hands raise this morning, God, we give you glory. With our hands lifted, we give you praise. With our hands lifted, we give you honor. God, with our hands lifted, we bless your holy name. Somebody come on, and give God glory this morning. With our hands lifted, we bless your holy name. Somebody come on and give God glory this morning. He inhabits the praises of his people. So God, we bless your name. We lift you high, oh God. We give you the highest praise. We give you the highest praise. We give you the highest praise. Somebody ought to shout hallelujah. God, we give you the highest praise. We give you the highest praise. Because nobody deserves the praise but you, oh God. Nobody deserves our praise but you, oh God. So God, we give you the highest praise. We give you glory this morning. We give you honor this morning. We give you praise this morning, oh God. Because you woke us up early this morning. And you clothed us in our right mind, oh God. So for that, God, we tell you thank you. We tell you thank you for how you keep providing for us. We tell you thank you for how you keep loving us, oh God. We tell you thank you for how you keep shielding us, oh God. We tell you thank you for how you continue to be Lord over our lives. We tell you thank you for how your grace and mercy is bestowed upon us daily. We tell you thank you, oh God. We thank you, oh great King. We thank you, oh great Jehovah. God, because you are a miracle worker. You are a promise keeper. You are the light in the darkness. So God, we give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. Now God, we come before your throne of mercy. We come before your throne of grace. As humbly as we know how, oh God. Just telling you thank you, oh God. God, we ask that you can move by your power today, oh God. Move by your strength today, oh God. Move by your anointing today, oh God. And shift the weight of your glory, oh God. Some people need you for one thing, and others need you for another thing. But you are an all-knowing God. We ask that you to meet us at the point of our needs. God, we ask that you meet us at the point of our needs. God, we ask that you meet us at the point of our needs. And we'll be forever grateful and forever careful to give you all the glory, to give you all the honor. God, we bring before you the manservant today. We ask that you take him down into the storehouse of mercy. And bring them up with a word for us on how, oh God. I ask that you touch our eyes, our hearts, our mind, and our ears. And open them so we can receive what thus says the Lord. God, we ask that you have that own way today, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. God, we ask that you touch everyone under the sound of my voice, oh God. We speak blessings today, oh God. We speak peace today, oh God. We speak joy today, oh God. We speak strength today, oh God. We speak comfort today, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. God, I ask that you touch every musician, oh God. Every singer today, oh God. Everybody today, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. God, now we bring before you our leaders today. We bring before you our pastor today. Our first lady today. And God, we ask that you continue to do what only you can do. Continue to be God. Continue to be a healer. Continue to be strength. Continue to be a way maker. Continue to be a promise keeper. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody ought to give God glory. Somebody ought to give him glory this morning. Somebody ought to give him glory this morning. Somebody ought to give him glory this morning. You may have come down today. But he is the lifter of our hands. You may have come down today. But he is the lifter of our hands. I will look into the hills from which cometh my help. All my help comes from Jesus. Somebody give God glory this morning. Somebody give him glory this morning. Because he's a promise keeper. Somebody know him to be a healer. Somebody know him to be a deliverer. Somebody know him to be a way maker. Somebody know him to be loving. Somebody know him to be a father. Somebody know him to be a mother. Somebody know him to be a lawyer in the courtroom. Somebody know him to be a healer. Somebody know him to be a way maker. Somebody know him to be a strong tower. But whatever that is to you, I tell you that he's my God. 
and there's nothing he cannot do. I tell you that he's my God, and there's nothing he cannot do. There is nothing too impossible for my God. There is nothing too hard for my God. Somebody give him glory. Come on and give him glory. Come on and give him glory. Somebody is just one praise away from what you need. Somebody is just one praise away from what you need. I dare not move until you get what you need. God, we ask that you come down right now in the name of Jesus. 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 Somebody call him like you know him. Somebody call him like you need him. Call him like you really need him. We call him Jesus. We call him Jesus. We call him Jesus. He's my healer, Jesus. He's a provider, Jesus. He's a way maker, Jesus. He's a strong tower, Jesus. He's a deliverer, Jesus. He remains faithful, Jesus. He's an all-knowing God, Jesus. Somebody come on and give them glory this morning. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody just shout the highest praise just one more time. Somebody just shout the name of Jesus just one more time. I feel lives are being changed today. I feel big chains are being broke today. I believe that body shall be healed today. I believe in that God is still a miracle worker. I still believe that God is a miracle worker. And if he said it, that settles it. Somebody just ought to put a praise on it right now. Because you know if God said it, that settles it. Hallelujah. 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 Let's give him the highest praise. Come on and put your hands together as we give God the highest praise this morning. Somebody just shout hallelujah. You're worthy to be praised. Somebody else shout hallelujah. You're worthy to be praised. Somebody else shout hallelujah. You're worthy to be praised. Come on and put your hands together. Let's blow those horns this morning. Hallelujah. Y'all ready? Come on, say hallelujah.
somewhere else where we feel no pain at all. But we thank you for life, we thank you for health, and we thank you for strength. We thank you for allowing us to follow you, Father God, because we know you are our shepherd. And we come this morning to give you praise, give you honor, and give you glory for what you are doing in our lives. And no brother psalm says it in the 23rd psalm, which says that the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He lead me beside the still waters. He restored my soul. He lead me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comforted me. Thou the pair of the table before me, in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointed my head with oil, 
my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will do the house of the Lord forever and ever and ever and ever. Glory to your holy name. Amen. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. There was a special call from heaven. And I messed around and received it when I was low in spirit. And I want to help somebody because when that happens, you have to understand that God is the strength. <laughs> of all our joy. And when I got this call, it was so special to me because me and my son, Sidney Sean, we used to get together before we, the pandemic happened. And we used to have church in the house getting ready for Sunday. But that haven't happened in a while because we get up here about 7.30, 8 o'clock to get things rolling. But this particular day, it just felt real good to let me know that God is still on our side. And he shared with me some things that he did for me. I didn't forget, but you know how we are. We, we'll put you to the side and say, I'll thank him about that a little later. But what he touched me with was, no, I need you to praise me now on some things that I did for you in the past. And I thought about that thing. I said, well, let me hurry and get up here to church and ask the congregation to help me and my family praise God for what, he, <laughs> for what he already did for you. Now, now, if he didn't do that for you, I'm not talking to you. But if God did something for you, <laughs> you ought to catch this. If God made a way out of no way for you, if God healed your body, matter of fact, if God woke you up this morning, started you on another day journey, you ought to be glad about that. But what we need to do for about 10 or 20 seconds, if you're glad that God made a way out of no way for you, when the doctor said no, Jesus turned around and said yes. And he told me to tell you. Y'all got to, y'all got to catch this thing. What I did for you last week or yesterday or just a minute ago. <laughs> I want you to give me praise. Because what, I'm going to tell you what he did. I watch the news every day thinking about the bad weather. And the prayer, y'all hold a musician. I say, God. If you allow us to praise you on Sunday morning, because they said it's going to storm all day for 10 days. Anybody caught that? But if you can look up in the sky, see our Father's hand protecting us through the storm and rain, through sickness, sickness and pain, somebody should have been dead. Sleeping in your grave But God Y'all gonna help me praise him God told me to tell you Y'all up And give him some praise About 10 seconds musicians Y'all come on Come on and tell God thank you One, two, three, come on Blow your horns And tell God thank you Has it been good to you? Has it been good to you? If it was inside, I said, Has it been good to you? Let me hear you say yes. I can hear you. Blow your heart and say yes. Yes, Lord. If you don't miss what I'm telling me, have thy way, Lord, in this place today. Have thy own way in this place today. Have thy own way. Now what's we're gonna do? Everybody on the count of three, blow your horn. One, two, three, come on. And while you blow 
on your heart, I need you to look to your neighbor and just say, neighbor, it's been a long journey. That ain't the right neighbor. I need you to look at somebody and say, neighbor, it's been a long journey. And Jesus has been right there by my side. I need you to look at somebody else and say, it's been a long journey. It's been a long journey. It's been a long journey. I've been up and I've been down. But I never turn around because my God has been right there. Right there. Right there. By my side. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on and put your hands together. I just need somebody just to start thinking about the goodness of Jesus. Right about now, Jay. Oh, he's done for you. Come on. It's been a long, long journey. Jesus, you've been right there by my side. It's been a long journey. Jesus, you've been. Hey, it's been a long journey. Jesus, you've been. Jesus and all that and all that and all that he's got for me my soul cries 
I hardly got any sleep last night. And I would just toss it and turn it in the bed. That's how I knew it was going to be a good day. I've been up since about 10.30 last night. But I know he was right there with me. Our scripture will be coming from the book of Romans, the book of Romans, the 10th chapter, the book of Romans, the 10th chapter. Let me hear B flat back there. The book of Romans, the 10th chapter. Let it be real. Oh, let it be real. Let it be real. Oh, let it be real. Everything. You do for the master, let it be real. Listen, listen. A charge to keep our hand. A God to glorify. A never dying soul to save and fit it for the sky. Oh, let it be real. yourself, point to yourself and say, oh, I just want to be real. I just want to be real, Lord. Everything that you do for the master, let it be real. Oh, let it be real. you do personally, but I got to tell you, everything that you do for the master, I just want to be real, in the back do you want to be real, everything that I do for the master, let it be real. We give glory to God. We give glory to God. God, we thank you. God, we thank you. God, we thank you. Thank you for life. Thank you for health. Thank you for strength. Thank you for you being God and being God all by yourself. We know beside you, there is no other. And God, we actually to touch these lips of clay. And anoint these ears of the same material. Hide me behind your glorious cross. And I'll take no credit for anything that you do. For in your matchless holy son Jesus name we do pray. Let the church shout amen. Amen. God bless you. To our pastor, the Reverend Griffin Davis, in his absence, our first lady, our presider, my uncle, God bless you, all the clergymen. All the members, visitors, and staff of the Great Hilltop Missionary Baptist Church, I am delighted to bring you what thus said the Lord this morning. And in the book of Romans, the 10th chapter, 
If you go through the New Testament, you have Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, the Acts of the Apostles, and then you'll reach the book of Romans. That 10th chapter, and I'm just going to only deal with one verse today, and that verse is the ninth verse. Romans chapter 10, verse 9 reads, That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shall believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Let, let me say that again for somebody in the back. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. I want to talk for a minute on the subject, it's all about Jesus. Just, just wave at somebody and say, neighbor, it's all about Jesus. In our text today, we are hearing from a man by the name of Paul. Paul, formerly known as Saul, who was once a persecutor of Christians, had an encounter with Jesus one day and was transformed from a chief sinner into a saint and an apostle for Christ. And I'm here today to tell you that once you've had an encounter with Jesus, your life will never be the same. And I know I'm here today as a witness, but I'm not by myself that somebody can just say, ever since I've had an encounter with Jesus, my life has never been the same. It was Paul who wrote much of the New Testament scripture. Here in the book of Romans, Paul deals so much in the fact of what it means to be saved. And he gives the plan of salvation. And he even lets us know what we are saved from. I believe Paul spends about the first 11 chapters talking about salvation. Paul didn't do this just to hear himself talk. Or just because he was a good writer. Or just because he didn't have nothing else to do. But Paul dealt with this so much. Because being saved is important. You ought to tell somebody it's important. And I know this is just the beginning of my message. But I can stick a pen in there and preach until Jesus comes. It's not about prestige. Popularity. Fame or fortune is not about how big your hat is or how new your car is. It's not about how good you sing or how well you can craft a message and preach. But if you don't preach this gospel and souls be saved, we might as well sit down and close up the book. Salvation is important. Let me hurry up because I can sit down after I said that. But in order to know how we get to this point in our text, it is important that we hit rewind and look at some of the writings that Paul wrote. Paul wrote in the first chapter that the wrath of God had been poured out on sinful men. And he gave them over to a reprobate mind. Yeah. Keeps writing about the third chapter and say, For all have sinned yes, and come short of the glory yes, of God. Yes, then he goes to the fifth chapter and said, Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Every time he goes to chapter seven and said, Every time that I desire to do good, evil is always present. The good that I would do, I find myself not doing. And the evil that I don't want to do, that I find myself doing. Oh, wretched man that I am. Who can deliver us from this body of death? Roman, he goes on to chapter 8 and said, that Therefore now no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after 
after the flesh, but after the spirit. Goes on and says in Romans 8 and 18, one of my favorites, for I reckon that the suffering of this present time is not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Goes on in the same chapter, verse 28, and says, and we know that all things don't do that right now. Work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. Paul has spent all this time preaching this good gospel. And the people turn around and start acting a fool. But I got news for you. Just as Paul did, all you got to do is keep preaching. I, 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 I got to tell you this, and, and I know somebody out here today is saying, I come out here Sunday after Sunday, and my family is still crazy. That's all right. Keep showing up. You, you may say, I pray all the time, but there's still sickness in this whole body. That's all right. Just keep on praying. You may say, I come out here dancing and shouting and still the enemy shows up in my life. That's all right. Keep dancing and shouting. Matter of a fact, I'll take a shout right about now because I realize that that's where God dwells in my praise. My, 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 my. Jesus. In our text. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Mm. In verse 1 of chapter 10. Paul says to them, brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. For they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not yet submitted themselves to the righteousness of God. The church in our text got themselves and their focus shifted off Jesus. Yes, yes. The preachers knew how to preach but didn't have no anointing. The choir was singing but wasn't singing under the anointing. They were praying but they weren't being guided by the Spirit. They lost their focus. And church, we have a problem. We have a problem. There's too many of us that are without establishing our own things and have not submitted ourselves to the ways of the Lord. And we may have things about that we want. Oh, Lord. We got all the things that we want. But, but I come here today with the boldness of the Holy Ghost to tell the body of Christ that is not about what you want. It's not about what we think. I heard one preacher say, it's not about how high you can jump in church, but it's about how straight you walk when you come down. It's not about you. And the day the church forgets that it's not about us, I don't want to be a part of it anymore. The day we forget that is not about us. Sister Dunaway, scratch my name off the road. The day we forget that is not about us, I don't want to be a member anymore. I just feel and I hope I'm not stepping on any toes this morning. But if the shoe fits, just wear it. I just feel in my spirit this morning I'm trying to get away from that but the spirit needs to break off some of those high minded people that think it's about them and I heard my grandfather say one time don't you ever get so high and mighty that you think you're doing God a favor God will raise up somebody who you least expect and he'll anoint them to do his will it's not about you just wave at somebody and tell them it ain't about you. It ain't about you. The devil's upset right now. And I need some prayer warriors to start praying right where you are. This is the thing I love about God. After we come to the understanding of our wrongdoing, he gives us a chance 
What he doing? To turn around. What he do? And do I have anybody grateful that God gave them a chance to turn around? Didn't deserve it, but he gave me a chance to get it together. But there's a few of us that can say he didn't just give me one chance, but he gave me chance after chance, after chance, after chance, after chance, after chance. I was a wretch undone, but he gave me another chance. And today, we extend this chance to you. I don't care if you're listening through the various social media outlets or if you're on these grounds today, God has given you a chance. Paul goes on to tell them in verse 9 that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. In John 3 and 7, Jesus said to Nicodemus, you must be born again. The Bible gives us a plan of how to be born again or saved. But first, we have to realize that we're all sinners. Don't you be embarrassed. Don't you be ashamed. Because the Bible said in Romans 3.23, for all have sinned. And come short of the glory of God. Everyone is in need of salvation. And salvation comes through Jesus Christ. And salvation is found in no one else. For there is no other name given unto heaven. By given unto men by which we must be saved other than the name of Jesus. We are all human. We are all broken. And we all need Jesus. Just wave at somebody and say, it's about Jesus. It's about Jesus. It's all about Jesus. And I'm going to my seat. but And because God loved us so much, he gave his only begotten son, Jesus, to bear our sin and die in our place. 2 Corinthians 5.21 tells us, he had made him Jesus who knew no sin to be sin for us that we might be the righteousness of God in him. Then God commanded everybody everywhere to repent. This repentance to the change of mind that agrees with God that we are all sinners and also agrees Jesus died on the cross. Acts 16 verses 30 through 31, the Philippian jailer asked, Paul and Silas says, what must I do to be saved? And they said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shall be saved. Simply believe on him as the one who took on your sin, died in your place, was buried and who God resurrected. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, shall be saved. And I got to go, but do I just have somebody that can wave their hand and just blow your horn for a few seconds and say, it's all about Jesus. I, I, I really need, I really need just a few people to think about this thing. Musicians, give me a second. I need you to just think about something that only God could do. I'm going to give you about 10 seconds to just really think about it. Don't jump up yet because when you really think about it, you can't contain yourself. But when you really think about the thing that only God could do, your car can't hold you down. Your seat can't hold you down. So just for about 10 seconds, I need somebody to just think about something that only God has done in your life. You ought to think about it right there. You ought to think about it right there. That it was only the Lord Jesus. I know it. And I'll tell you this. Some may choose the booting, the teaching of Buddha. Some may choose the teachings of Confucius. Some may 
like the teaching and philosophy of Taoism and Taoism. Some may like the Muslim philosophy. Some may say the Muslim Amal Asa Lam Alaikum. And if you know what that means, they'll say Alaikum Air Salam. That might work for you. When the Imam would cry and you bow face in the east, that might work for you. It might work for you to only pray in gatherings. That might work for you. But I'll take Jesus for me. I, I, you can have the whole wide world. You, you can have the fame. You can have the fortune. But I decided in my mind that I'll take Jesus. And, and, and I don't know about you, but somebody out here today has made up in their mind that I'll serve him because he did for me what nobody else had the power to do. And somebody might say, why do you worship that name? Why do you praise that name? Why do you lift that name up? And I'm glad you asked. All over Facebook and YouTube, you may look at us and say, why are y'all out there week after week, month after month, lifting up that name Jesus? And I'll tell you why. Because he came down through 42 generations. Said, Father, prepare me a body. And I'll go down and redeem man back to you. Stepped out of glory and entered into the breath canal of Mary. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Then Mary went to visit her cousin Elizabeth. Found out she was pregnant with John. They said, and when Mary and John, when Mary and Elizabeth had an encounter, when he got close enough to Jesus, John started leaping in the womb. And I'll tell you, that's one reason why I serve him. Because no matter where you are, he's powerful enough to change your condition. He's powerful enough to show up in your circumstance. And whatever you're going through, your head might be bowed. But when Jesus shows up, you might have a sad continence about you. But when Jesus shows up, he'll turn your situation around. And then John, as they got older, was baptizing in the Jordan. I don't got time to tell the whole thing, but John said, I baptize you with water. But there's the one coming whose shoes I'm not worthy to unloose. He said, he's going to baptize you with the Holy Ghost and fire. Jesus came and said, John, I'm ready to be baptized. And John said to Jesus, I'm not worthy to baptize you. Can you baptize me? But Jesus said, we got to fulfill the prophecy. I need to be baptized. And they said the cloud opened up. And Jesus, God spoke through the clouds and said, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. But do I have a witness out here that can say, I serve a risen Savior. He's in this world today. I know he living uh, no matter what man may say. I got to fast forward. One day he gathered his disciples together. He said, one of you going to betray me. After he had performed many miracles, he said, I got to go, but I'm going to leave you another comforter. When he went down after the men and had the last supper. They went to the Garden of Gethsemane to pray. And after they prayed, the Roman soldiers came and took Jesus. And then they held him. I got to tell this story, but uh, what time is this? I got to finish the story here. This is why breaking musicians, this is why we act the way we act. Because of this story right here. That Thursday they took him from Judgment Hall 
the judgment hall. That Friday, they beat him up the Via Della Rosa, up Golgotha's hill, up Calvary Mountain. He hung his head, they whipped him all night long. But they never said a mumbling word. The thing I like, they nailed his hands, they nailed his feet, they put a crown of thorns on his head. He hung his head in the locks of his shoulder. He died, he died. You ought to wave at somebody and say, neighbor, I know that he died. He died till the sun refused to shine. He died till the moon dripped away in blood. He died, he died till the Roman centurion said, Surely, 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 this has got to be the Son of God. He hung his head in the locks of his shoulder and he died but I'm so glad that that's not how the story is Friday night stayed in the grave they stayed on the cross he died stayed there Friday died all day Saturday died all day Saturday night but I'm so glad, I'm so glad, somebody say early, right early, right early, Sunday morning, he got up with ah, power, ah. your situation and because he lives I can face tomorrow because he lives break it break it break it that was over 2,000 years ago but we have some witnesses out here that say I don't have to think back that long to tell you why I'll serve the Lord Somebody can say, he's been my doctor when I was sick. He was my lawyer when I was in trouble. He was my joy in times of sorrow. He was my hope for tomorrow. He was my money when I didn't have a dime. He was my friend when I was all alone. Somebody say it's all about Jesus. It's all about Jesus. Break it, break it, break it. I'm closing up the book. But I got to leave you with this testimony before I go home. Last month when I was up here preaching, the Lord had his way and instructed me to run the parking lot. And after I did all of that, I'm a Griffin, you said it. You said to be on guard because the devil's upset. And he's going to try to get you all focused. I see my grandmother in the car over there. My mother's mother. We left here that Sunday at the church. My, 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 my. Cause I feel like running here and get the click track ready cause when I take off ain't gonna be no stopping cause I got a reason to give him the glory that Sunday after we left here my grandfather was in the VA and my auntie said you need to go see him and after I saw my grandfather Jamil called us he said, y'all need to go see Omar. It don't look, she don't sound that good. And she's scaring me. So me and my mother called and we said, Omar, what's going on? 
She was talking out of her head. She didn't know what day it was. She didn't know the a.m. from p.m. My auntie called the paramedics and we got in there. Finally got in Century Village and when we got in there, the man said, Sister Patterson, do you know what day it is? I told her, I said, oh my, Sunday. She said, did you remember going to church? The paramedic, she said, no, I went to church yesterday. And, and I got in front of her. I said, oh my. I said, you went to church today. I, I said, you don't remember me preaching today? I said, you went today. She said, no, I went to church yesterday. Rushed to the good Sam and got the good Sam. She had to have emergency surgery about 10 o'clock that night. Me and my mother and father were in the waiting room. They put us out the waiting room. Said the waiting room is closed. But if that wasn't enough, Monday morning I got up. My auntie told me I felt the spirit to go see my grandfather. And when I got out, went to call him on the phone. My mama said they're moving him to hospice. When I got the call that they were moving him to hospice, I, I said, is he responsive? She said, no, he's not responsive. He prayed over the phone. And after accepting Jesus as his personal savior, they say he took about 10 breaths and, and died on the bed. But I want to serve the devil notice. You tried to get me down. You tried to mess me up. You tried to get me out of my character. But I'll serve you notice today that the joy I have, the world didn't give it. The joy I have, this joy on the inside. Disease can't kill it. Undertaker can't bury it. I got joy. I got joy. And when I was growing up in the church, I remember the praise team singing, I got something on the inside that works on the outside. And oh, oh, what a change in my life. Tell somebody, won't he do it? Won't he do it? Won't he dry your tears? Won't he make everything all right? I got to leave here. Won't he do it? Cut me down. Won't he do it? Wait to somebody and say, won't he do it? Won't he do it? Won't he give you joy and sorrow? Won't he give you hope for tomorrow? Won't he dry your tears? Won't he make everything all right? Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Won't he, won't he, won't he, won't he, won't he, won't he? Blow your horn and shout, yeah. Shout yeah! Shout yeah! Shout yeah! Woo! Come here, Jamil. Somebody ought to turn around. Somebody ought to turn around where you're standing. Turn around. Every time I turn around, there's another healing. There's another deliverance. There's another breakthrough. Turn around, turn around. Ask your neighbor a question. Wave at him and say, neighbor, do you know him? Have you tried him? Won't he make a way? Do you know him? Have you tried him? Won't he make a way? Shout it out. you this. I don't care what you're going through. I don't care what situation you're in. It's all, it's all about Jesus. You ought to give him the glory. You ought to give him the honor because I got a feeling, I got a feeling. Every, 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 everything is all right. You ought to tell somebody it's all right now. It's all right now. It's all right now. I may be young. I may not know a lot of things. I may not have been a lot of places. But one thing I know, Daddy Jane, one thing I know, 
One thing I know is that God is real. He's real. He's real. Shout it out. Give him the best praise. Give him the glory. Give him the honor. He's worthy. Somebody bless his name. Somebody bless his name. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Is in that name. Healing is in that name. No other name, no other name like the name of Jesus. Ah, Jesus. Ah, Jesus. Ah. Shout glory, shout glory. Give him your best praise. Give him your best praise. Praise his holy name. Somebody to put their hands together. Bless his holy name. Let me hear those tambourines. Y'all ought to bless his holy name this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! I received a message this morning. Somebody lift their hand and call the name Jesus. I received a message this morning from the Fields family. And I don't know where they are. I see them back there, they'll be traveling out of the country. And we're gonna pray for God to continue covering and his blessing over that family. Somebody lift their hands and point on that back row. In the name of Jesus, Christ of Nazareth, the son of the living God, anoint them right now with the power of the Holy Ghost. Cover them from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. Everywhere their foot shall tread, shall be blessed in the name of Jesus. Bless going in, bless coming out. Somebody ought to shout amen. Somebody here today. I don't know what it is, but you need something from the Lord. And now is your time to give God your best praise. Now is your time to give Him the best hallelujah. We thank God. Break it. Break it, Will. I see the Boston family, the Blair family, the Smith family. They, this, that family has lost loved one after loved one. And I don't think they've missed a Sunday. And it says the strong shall bear the infirmity of the weak. Can I get a few praises to praise them for that family? Just praise them for that family. Y'all go for broke just a few minutes. Travel, travel. 
sail away. Help me travel, travel, sail away. Help me travel, travel, sail away. Help me travel, travel, sail away. We repeat you say to travel, sail away. The hand of the enemy be repeated to the sail away. Help me travel, travel, sail away. Praise God, praise God. They tell me when praise is 
I need everybody on the side of my Lord. Take your right hand and point at this young man. God just used him this morning in a high, mighty only way. God, we pray that you will replenish him. Everything he poured out to us, restore him right now. Protect him all the days of his life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray. Bless him forevermore. And every heart says amen. Hallelujah to the love of God. Amen, amen. This is truly a blessed day. Jesus says the day that you hear my voice. A heart, not your heart. If any man would open that door and I would come in and sup with him and no wise cast him out. After a powerful message. A salvation message. Dr. Johnson, you're a theologian. You're our Sunday school superintendent. What do we consider Romans the 10th chapter? Our salvation chapter. Somebody needs to be saved today. God would allow you, this young man to preach this message if it wasn't needed. We come here and we praise God every Sunday. But you got to learn, people of God, the most important part of the service is when we open the doors of the church. There's a scripture that says, go on the highways and hedges and compel men to come to the house of God, that his house might be filled. That's the King James Version, but the NIV Version says, go behind the hedges. And if you have to argue with them to persuade them to come. We're supposed to do that. That is a commandment. And so people of God, I just want to say this to you. Never in my life as a preacher or a man of God do I want to try to hurt somebody. But everybody is not the Lord's sheep. The Bible says my sheep uh, will hear my voice and not of a stranger. They will know my voice and not of a stranger. There's a lot of people that come to church have not accepted the Lord as their personal Savior. We come to church religiously. That's being a Christian. To know that God exists. But to be a believer. He says these signs shall follow them that believe. But to be a believer you have to give your life to Christ. And so this afternoon we offer Christ to you. You don't have to get out the chair, out your car. You can receive salvation right there in your car. He just told you. If you believe in the house. In the Lord Jesus. And confess your sins. And believe that he has been raised from the dead. Matter of fact that 13 verse says. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord. Shall be saved. Somebody need to be saved today. Let's not get so caught up into just having church till we don't extend the right hand, extend salvation to people, to draw people into Christ. Is there one? Is, will there be one that will give your life to Christ? Will there be one? Will there be one? You may be a member of another church. You may not be satisfied. Please don't do it. But here at Hilltop. We would like to empower you to take a spiritual stand in today's world. We have people very qualified to help guide you. Our Sunday school superintendent, Brother Robert Johnson, our ministerial staff, our missionaries, our deacons. We will help empower you today. Will there be one? Bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. Come on, blow your heart and tell God, thank you for that word, for that word. Amen, 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 amen. Today is friends and family day. Trustees, make your way. They're going to feed you today. Come on, let's give out, blow your horns for your pastor. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, thank you. Amen. Let us. I have an announcement to make. One of our faithful members passed Mother Mary Berrien, and we're going to have her homegrown service this Saturday coming at Shula's 
memorial uh, funeral home and the chapel. So I'm going to ice the praise team, Brother Jamil, and uh, y'all to be there Saturday. They will let us know exactly one time. She's a faithful member and a tight pair. Missionaries, we're going to need y'all support. Uh, so, and then we want to continue to pray for those who sick and shut in. Don't forget, Sister Callum, Ronna Bradenton, y'all give her a call, check on her. Amen. Let us pray. Don't forget your tithe and your offering. Brother Ayers is standing for the preacher. Let's bless this young man. He's in seminary. He's still funding his education. And then we have another surprise. Our sister Quinnette Laurie is giving away school supplies today. She speaks, uh, she speaks outreach. The name of her outreach ministry, She Speaks Outreach. That's a nice name. Amen. I like that name. She Speaks Outreach. So those of you that have kids, uh, we're going to move expeditionists. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Christ Jesus, we thank you for what our eyes have seen and what our ears have heard. Oh God, we heard from heaven today. Young Terry and Bishop preached out of his heart. Bless him, God. Bless him, God. He said, the steps of a good man are ordered by God. Order all of our steps. Not only his steps, but order my steps. Order all of our steps. God, I'm asking you right now to bless the people of God. As we thought that we were coming to the end of this pandemic. We see now, God, that this pandemic is rising up again. We realize right now that the people of God and the people of the world are not taking this pandemic serious. There's another strand has come out that's worse, they said, 10 times worse than the first strand. Oh God, I see some of my friends and families have caught the COVID in the last 30 days. And I lost a couple of friends in the last 30 days because of this COVID. God, protect your people. Put your hedge of protection around your people. But you said in your word, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves, seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and forgive their sins and heal the land. God, we need a healing in the land. And only you can do it, God. If anybody can do it, you can do it. And I know you can because you have all power, not some power. It's rather if you choose to use your power. God, I'm asking you right now. Protect the people of God. We bind, you say, whatsoever thing we bind on earth shall be bind in heaven. We bind this coronavirus. And oh God, we send it back to the pits of hell and we lose total healing and restoration in this land right now. All over this country. Spare us, God. Spare us. Protect us, God. And God, if you ever do so, we ever be so careful to give you the praises throughout this eternity. God, now bless this food that we're about to receive. And bless the hands who prepared it. Let it be nourished into our bodies. Bless everyone under the sound of my voice. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, sweet communion, the Holy Spirit, rest rooted in the body. Kiss for and forever. Amen. Amen.